Hey guys, we are back for another video about this bow. Now, this is the bow with all those knots on the back of it. We shaved those down. It had a crack in the middle of the limb. We put seven layers of fiberglass tape on it. We started to put a cool leather wrap on it. I think it looks pretty good. I can't decide if I'm gonna redo it or not. I decided I'm not gonna settle for less on this bow though. So I'll probably redo it. This is actually the first leather handle I have done, so I need to practice and I need to get better because I don't even really know how to leather work, but it feels good to have a leather handle. Anyway, the profile of this bow, I really like the skinny handle, arrow rest, kicks back up. Now this bow is 56 inches long. I'm drawing it out, oh, let's put this up real quick. So I'm drawing it nearly back to my 30 inch draw length. Um, I want to put it on the tillering board. I've got it sanded to 220 so it's pretty smooth. Um, but we're going to throw it on the tillering board. Finish up the final tweaky tweaky tillering parts of this bow. Then I am going to do the leather handle. We'll make a string and we'll finish this bow up. I'm kind of done settling for crappy work. I really want to make really, really good stuff. I'm still in the very beginning process of bow making, and each bow I'm making is getting better and better. So this one's been exciting. This one's fun, especially because I thought it was a piece of trash, but now it's working, and it might be my favorite bow yet. So let's get right to this. To the tillering board. 16 inches. 20 inch draw. It's 23 and a half. For some reason, it's scary to go beyond that on the tilling board. It's probably because it's so hard to pull back. 24 inches. <sighs> All right, how does it look? It's interesting because I find when you look from different sides, you see it differently. But what I see is I really like the way this limb's bending here, but it looks like this limb is bending more. This is the upper limb. Let's exercise it a second. There's 24 inches right there. I'm gonna throw a straight edge on this to see, see what it looks like. We've graduated from a Sharpie to a pencil because a pencil will leave not as deep marks and you don't have to remove as much wood when you're this close on the end. I like to rub my straight edge along this and you can see where the gap gets bigger Wherever the gap gets bigger, that means it's bending more, so you want to leave that wood and take off the wood around it. So the gap's the biggest right there. It's really consistent all the way down on that limb besides there. Uh, maybe a tad is going to be right there. Let's see how the rest of the limb does before we mark. Man, I'm really pleased with how this is looking. Pretty consistent. We have like two inch section right there we're gonna mark up and then here on the other limb you know what it hinges almost right there not not a hinge but it's just bending a little more and then it evens out and then a little more and so it's another two inch section right there and it's pretty stinking consistent there's one more section right there you want to take your time at this process and just double check everything Take some off there, not there. A little off there. Boom, just like so. We'll take some 220. You can see where we marked it up right here and down here. And I'll just hit that. Once the pencil line is gone, I'll hit it another 20 times. And I marked that two inch area, but I'm gonna focus on that two inch area, but I'm not gonna dig a hole. I'm gonna feather it out. Just like so. Then on this limb. 
Same thing. Beautiful. Time to exercise the limbs. Two, three, four. Pulling it back probably about 26 inches. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'll generally do 25. Tillering board in, let's take another peek. Ooh, baby. There's 24 inches. Down to 26. Can it be done? If this was a sinew backed bow, I'd go ahead and draw this back to 30 inches. But since it's only a 60, no 50, well, how long is this bow? Let's check. Yeah, knock to knock is 54. 54 inches knock to knock. Ooh, that's a pretty short bow for a 30 inch draw. Wow. Now I'm not, <laughs> you see that? I'm like to my, almost my cheek. I don't, I need to make sure it's not about to start stacking and that's what it kind of feels like. So if I go to a 24 inch, here, let's, oh, let me show you. About 24 inches here. See that? So this limb, is almost at 90 degrees, almost. And I've had bows break when you just hit 90, sometimes even a little bit after, but normally when you hit it. And so this limb, it's not as close. Do you know why? It's not as close to 90 degrees because this was the limb I was able to reflex a little more. But this limb on this side, I wasn't able to reflex as much because that's the one that was cracking because it was so brittle. Now what I should have done in the first place with a piece of wood this old is to heat this up by steam and bend it that way. Then it would have moisture put to the wood temporarily so that it wouldn't have done that. And I would be able to draw this back further right now. So if I draw it any further, it might break due to stacking, but the fiberglass is holding up really well. And it's not like if I had a normal bow with one growth ring and I drew it back to the point of stacking, it's gonna break anyway. So the fiberglass is holding its own, at least as good as one growth ring would do on the back of the bow. So I think I'm gonna give this bow to my wife. So I might wanna make it a little weaker. How do you make it weaker? Let me show you. To make this bow weaker, I'm just gonna use the 220 sandpaper. How I'm gonna do that since I wanna, ah, man, how much do I want? You know, I think it's better to have less poundage than more for a beginner especially, and my wife's a beginner with a uh, traditional bow. She shot compound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Sharpie. As painful as it is, paint this whole side. What this is gonna do this is gonna allow me to consistently remove off wood off the whole limb since I like the tiller. If I color in everything, then by the time I get through all the Sharpie and how deep it bleeds, I'm gonna remo have removed wood evenly throughout the whole limb. And that's what I want. Since I like the tiller and I just wanna make this bow a little bit weaker for my wife. Thank you. 
The other option to remove wood consistently would be to just count the amount of times you sand. So you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, or however you want to do it, to a hundred or so, and that'd be equal to taking off the Sharpie. And that's another way to do it if you don't want to take the time to rub on the Sharpie. The only problem with that is your pressure may change depending on what part of the limb you're pushing. And if your pressure changes, then you're going to take more wood off one spot or another. With the Sharpie, you can see, oh man, it's coming off fast over here, so I must be really light up here. So then you can even it out. But if you are extremely skilled with your sandpaper pressure, feel free to not Sharpie your bow. And all right, we have finished that round. And we have already done the torture test, 25 poles. Okay, and then we put it on the tillering board here. The tiller still looks good. There's 26 inch draw right there. So let's see what our poundage is at. I'm assuming my wife has a 24 inch draw, I'm not sure. Twenty five pounds at twenty four inches. That's still kinda heavy. Ooh, that's smooth. Okay. Still a little heavy. I'm gonna try to get that down to twenty pounds. So we are at twenty five pounds. Time for some more standing. Time to exercise those limbs. Thirty. Uh. All right, there's 26 inches, no problem. Last time we were at 25 pounds. I just sanded it with 220 for about 30 seconds on each limb. Let's see if that did anything. 24. <laughs> it says 26 pounds. We went up a pound. All right, well, we're gonna need to take some more wood off. All right, done sanding, let's give it another shot. Now, if any of you guys have been following, you seen that last bow I made for my wife? <laughs> I liked it so much I kept it. Uh, Cause it could draw my draw length and it shoots so good. So, and since it shot so good, it was a little too powerful for her. You can probably tell from that video that she was having a hard time giving a good release. So I was like, I'll make her another one. So that's, that's, that, that's why I'm making this one for her rather than for me or somebody else. So all right, there we go. 23, 22, you know, that may be right, right there. I had it at 35. She could get it back, but it um, wasn't easy. So, how's it look? I'm telling you, I'm drawing that past 28 probably. So guys, it's been a little different style of video here. Wow, look at that. I'm close to my cheek. My cheek would be 30. You know what, I just did it. Oh. See, like, if the bow's gonna break, it's gonna be now, so just pay close attention. 54 inch bow, seven layers of fiberglass tape, 30 inch draw length. Now that's awesome. Wow, it is like sinew, that's crazy. Someone's gonna wanna kill me because I said that. It's, it's performing really stinking well though. Goodness gracious. Wow. Um, anyway, what I was saying is that, what was I saying? Oh, this video has been different. Thanks for joining me. That's pretty cool. 30 inches, 54 inch long bow, seven layers of fiberglass tape from a broken bow to something that works really well. So I appreciate you guys being here. And the next video, we're gonna finish this. We're gonna make this awesome. 
Like when you put the finish on it, the wood comes alive. I'm gonna put a different handle on it because this one is okay and I wanna do something great. And then I'm gonna put a string on it and this is gonna be my best bow. So enjoy the rest of your day.